guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode number seven. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing great. As you can see, I'm at the beach at the moment. I have decided to go and find me a flyer. So I went and looked for a pteranodon. And I actually found one too. So I knocked this guy out. It's a male 108. Um, he's almost finished taming. Yeah, I think this meat might even still last long enough. Um, but I'm gonna get some more just in case. He should be fairly safe around here at the beach. Uh, I don't really think there's anything that's gonna attack him. So I'm gonna go and go over to the swamp that's close by. And I'm gonna go kill some Titan Boas for some prime meat. Um, yeah, anyhow, like I said, I. Uh, I ran through the jungle looking for Pteranodon for ages, all over in, um, yeah, more or less the, the jungle part of the eastern, is it eastern? Yes, of the eastern shore. Um, it took forever to find anything, really. So I decided, okay, I'm not going to stay in the, in the jungles because it was also creeping with Carnos, raptors, and all kinds of other shit. So I just decided to come down here to the um, to the beach and have a look here because it's probably going to be easier to tame on here. And yeah, pretty much while I was doing that, I killed lots of titan boas and shit like that. Nothing too special, really. And, oh, <laughs> shit, here we are again. It looks like getting that primate was unnecessary. Because he's already finished. That's great. So, give him some meat so he can carry all this. Uh, well, fairly low health, but he's a pteranodon, so I guess it's nothing too special. I guess the stats are not bad for a 106. Uh, Timmed out at 161. Oh, let me see what I need for the saddle. There's the saddle. I can even make one. Great. Although I think I might be too heavy. What do I not need? Get rid of this. Get rid of this shit. Yeah, I guess drop some of that meat. I don't need all that. Oh, no, no. Crap. Oh <laughs> shit, I just dropped the saddle. Uh, okay, where's the saddle? Oh, don't make me pick up all the shit again. Ah, there it is. Alrighty. Can he fly? Yes, he can. Okay, great. So we have us a flyer. Um... kind of level are you? 162. Nice. But I can't be bothered to fly or to bring this trike all the way back. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get myself some crystal because I need crystal for a spyglass. So we're going to go to the nearest mountain which is right up here and we're going to get us some crystal. Oh shit! Look guys, there's a Giga right up here. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna get our stuff and then leave as fast as we can. Just gonna grab a little bit of crystal. I don't need too much. Run 30-ish. Yeah, that's enough. Just enough so I can make a spyglass. I can't see what level this Giga is, unfortunately, because I don't want to get so close to actually be able to find out. <laughs> so we're going to have to check him sometime else. Okay, we are back at base. I brought the Pteranodon inside because I don't want uh, him to be outside and get eaten by a Sarko or some shit like that. So, Oh, and I also got a Dillo over here. Just a small tame I did on the side. Nothing too special. So we're gonna make some meat for 
cooking. And yeah, so I have a mod installed on the server. It's called Super Spyglass. So this is it right here. Um, it actually has a variable zoom, increased range, uh, and what it does, which is probably the most important, it actually gives you much better overview of uh, stats of the target you're looking at. And I don't have enough cementing paste. <laughs> uh, shit, I thought I had more than that. Okay, um, in that case, I'm gonna go get some cementing paste from beaver dams. So we will continue this real soon. So guys, um, there's something I want to throw out there right now while I think about it. <laughs> um, first of all, thank you very much for you guys' crazy support. I mean, obviously I'm not a huge YouTuber or anything, I just started and um, yeah, but for me, any kind of feedback, any any comment, any like, any subscription is always something I am really happy about, even if it's only a small thing for a lot of people, or it would seem like a small thing. But I can tell you guys, starting on YouTube is not easy. <laughs> it is, it's really hard getting noticed, especially, you know, um, compared to the bigger YouTubers, and um, I mean, we all know them, we all know their names, so it's hard to go up against them in, in the way of being noticed. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy and thankful, what level are you? Level 12, no. I am really happy and thankful for any kind of feedback I got from you guys. Like I said, any comment, any like, it's always something I'm really happy about. So, today actually is the 2nd of January, and I'm not exactly sure why, but it seems like uh, you guys really seem to like the last video I made with the time lapse of the building. Because compared to the other videos, that video got lots of views and uh, comments and things like that as well. And one thing that was definitely noticeable was the fact that today, on the 2nd January, I actually doubled my um, subscription. <laughs> so I had three subscribers before, and like I said, I know this doesn't sound like a lot, but for me starting out it is. I had uh, three subscriptions um, starting today, and by now we are at six. And especially comparing to the fact that it was quite some time before I got uh, more subscriptions again. So I'm kind of talking gibberish tonight. <laughs> um, sorry, I was kind of concentrating there. Yeah, what I was trying to say is I had a period there where I had three subscribers for quite some time, and then after that nothing happened for a little bit and um, yeah then all of a sudden today boom six subscriptions <laughs> so yeah basically I doubled it in one day for me that's really awesome um, maybe you guys can understand my enthusiasm when it comes to that a little bit um, yeah all I really want to say in the end is thank you very much for your support I really appreciate it and who knows, maybe uh, you guys will actually see the day when we have a lot more following going as well, because it's not just uh, not just for me, but also for you guys, because I hope to be able to like build a great community um, with my channel, so it's not just about me bringing you guys uh, content on based on whatever, it's also about building a community and you know, building a following in that sense. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I hope you guys are as well. And I'm gonna stop my gibberish now <laughs> and kind of move on to the next part. Oh, and by the way, I think I just saw that we happened to find a apprentice Tyranodon saddle. Did I see that correctly? Indeed I did, nice. So we're gonna slap that on him. 
Oh, it's got almost twice the armor. Nice. Um, so far, I've only pumped movement speed on this guy. Put some more in him. Alrighty. <laughs> he seems happy about that. Good. We have some cementing paste now, so I'm gonna head back to base. Oh, shit. Look at this, guys. There's a brawl going on down there between, it looks like, three Parasurs and a crap load of Caprasukers. We're just going to observe this for a moment. Jesus Christ, they're going to town. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna bet my money on... Oh god, that's hard to say. I don't know how many Caprasukers are left. I'm going to bet my money on the Parasurs, though, I think. Yeah, I think I see one dead Caprasucus. Oh shit, there's two Jillos. Dillos. Is that Dillos? Yes. Dillos joining in. And the Titan Bow. The Titan Bow already has been stomped. We have Bugs mixing it up in there as well. And the backup more Caprasucus is coming. The Parasurs are holding their ground easily. Holy shit, look at this. And more Dillos coming. Ah, uh, one Parasur is getting pretty bloody already. Oh, what is he doing? Is he retreating? He looks like he's retreating. Oh, that Caprasucus is giving him hell. Oh no, he's turning around. He's fighting back. I think we have two Caprasucus. Am I even saying their names correctly? <laughs> two mini Sarkos versus three Parasurs. Oh, that one looks really fucked up. Oh shit! One of them just went down. Okay, are they gonna seek revenge for his fallen comrade? It's it's a one-on-one -on -one right now. The other one just fucked off. He's like, fuck this. I'm out of here. <laughs> I think that mini circle must be really high level. Because he's not even bloody. Oh, shit. There comes the big bro. And he seems to have more interest in me. I'm just an innocent bystander. You go wrestle with those guys. And there's the Titan Bow also getting in it. Nah, the Titan Bow is dead. Oh, there comes another one. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of these Capra Sucres around here. He's not coming for me, is he? Wait, what happened? Did that Capra Sucres die? Oh no, he's over there. Oh shit, he just took out the second one. Okay, it's all on you now. I bet my money on you, so don't disappoint me. Let's change positions to get a better view. I don't want to be on the ground. I think these copper sickles can actually take you out of the saddle. Oh no, I'm gonna lose my money. There's just too many of them, because that Pariser is fucked. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, here we are again. So, I needed some cementing paste. And what else do I Okay, I think we have it. Super spyglass. Awesome this back in there. Oh, what am I doing? Put that away again. Put this away as well. Just gonna store this stuff away so I don't have to carry it with me. Um, put this away as well. Okay, so let's go and try out this super spy glass. This parasaur has been hanging around my base for ages now. I think he likes it here. He keeps me company. So, oh, it's got like a like this crosshair. Oh, shit! You just have to aim the crosshair at it. But uh, we're gonna try this with something else. Uh, let's see. We have a frog down there. Oh, okay, the mouse wheel gets it on the zoom. Oh, there we go. So, it's a level... Okay, can we use it on something that doesn't move so much? <laughs> Let's try those Demetrodons over there. So, level 30, female, 420. It actually gives you the entire stats. That's pretty cool. It shows you the torpor and everything. That's really cool. Oh, I haven't seen one of those yet. That's, uh, 
I don't know what you call these things. <laughs> That's the first time I've actually seen one. That's cool. Can it turn around so I can see it from the front? Guess not. There's a circle over there. I love 126. I actually killed a 168 earlier that was attacking my base, and there's a Titan Bowler attacking my base. Nice hit. What the fuck? These Titan Bowlers seem to be so buggy when it comes to their hitbox. I don't know. Like, really often, I hit them in the head and it doesn't register at all. Screw you. All the Dimetrodons flying around. So what was I looking at? All right, the circle gives you pretty good information on pretty much everything you need to know. That's that's really neat. I like that. It's too bad that you can't tame these Titan Boas yet. I do hope that Wildcard finally implements that someday. Well, good guys, we're going to call it a day right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm really happy about all the support you guys are giving me. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> I just can't wait to see what the future brings for us all. Um, one thing I also wanted to talk about, we have already uh, a couple people on the server. So there's um, a few people that were interested that saw the video and saw that I um, mentioned that everybody could come. So already have people coming on the server. I have a friend of mine from a server that I played on before. He's also on the server. So you can expect to see some content with him and me together um, in probably in the near future. Um, but yeah, there's still more space for everybody to join. And if you feel like coming and helping, or not helping, I mean like coming and playing together with us, then just contact me if you want to know how to get on the server or check the description of the video before this, episode number 6, that has all the server address information that you need. Uh, second of all, what I wanted to talk about today was just really shortly an announcement. I am planning on making a Survival of the Fittest series. So I've never played Survival of the Fittest. Uh, it would be a first time for me. Uh, so I think it would be really interesting for us all to experiment that together and uh, see how that goes as well. So that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was rather short, not too much to see video. I think it was more about giving you guys some information, updates, and uh, just sharing my excitement with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Anyhow, if you did, please like, comment, share the, the video or my channel in general with friends, family, anybody you think might be interested to find something on my channel he would enjoy, he or she. And yeah, you guys stay awesome. I'll see you real soon and take care.